Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon I offer weekly sign readings based on love as well as spiritual path for $10 per month, all right? Weekly sign readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You will find the link listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually met here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Very 
attractive men that have what they need and they just, you know, they need the right person by their side. All right? So, these are multiple men here. I'm getting like five plus men that are looking at you with one common de denominator, which is the, they have, they are interested in dating you, pursuing you, courting you, you know what I'm saying? So you have suitors here, possible prospects here. They see you as wish fulfillment. They want to come towards you. They want to experience you. Even though they have these fears linked to, to that, even though they panic at the thought of just having a conversation with you, they still want you. You are still wish fulfillment to them, all right? I'm getting like some of these men here like, have never dealt with someone like you before. And then it's like, because of that, that's what triggers the panic. That's what triggers this fear of like, damn, what if she rejects me, right? But also, all these men here, regardless of whatever they might be facing, where they feel like you might reject them or they feel like you know your worth and like, they, you wouldn't see them as proper a proper fit to, you know, to have you the way they want you. I feel like it's not going to stop them because they're very determined. These are men that are going to come at you and they're going to sort of pursue you, court you, based on what they really, really want, which is a relationship. They want a relationship with you, all right? Let's clarify further here. Clarify this energy on the table. All right, these are men that want to treat you with respect. I'm also getting that. But this nine of wands reverse. The nine of wands upright represents like a player energy, somebody that is in and out, somebody that is flighty, somebody that doesn't learn how to love somebody the way they want to be loved. All right, they just love somebody because of certain conditions or benefits, resources, you know what I'm saying? It's like, a player energy here. So it coming up reverse. That's what I'm getting when I said these people, these men are going to treat you with, with respect. All right. They're not going to treat you as somebody that isn't worth it because they see you as wish fulfillment. So of course they're going to act right. Of course they're going to get out of this energy of being players or being flighty, being aloof, emotionally unavailable. All those qualities about them are going to change as soon as you allow them to be in your energy because they really want a relationship with you all right in general that's just what is happening here they're desperate for your attention as well as what i'm getting and the reason is uh, the reason of the desperation right these men because obviously we've established that they they, they see you as somebody that knows they worth they feel like you don't give your attention out to anybody just like that. You don't give your energy out to anybody just like that. So because of that, it makes them a little bit intimidated as well. All right? It makes them be in this energy of like, I have to act right. That's why they willing to drop all these things that they, they were once attached to, all these ways of being, all these mindsets that they were possessing of here. They, they're willing to drop it because they want this with you. And they know that you will never tolerate certain things. You will never stand for or stand by certain things, all right? You love yourself too much, you will choose yourself. That's what they know about you. Which tells me that these men have already studied you somehow or watched you, inquired about you. They already somehow have been even stalking you a little bit, somehow just trying to gather information that is going to help them understand you more just based on that. Not just them coming towards you all of a sudden and approaching you, not knowing the type of person that you are. These men did what they could behind the scenes, checking background information about you to get to know you, all right? However way they got done, they did though. All right, so we have Pisces energy. We have um, Capricorn energy. We have Gemini energy. We have Aries and Libra energy, all right? 
So expect to be pursued, beloved. Expect different people here reaching out to you, interested in dating you, being in a relationship with you, all right? Whether it's in person, in social media, all right? Yeah, look at that, Queen of Cups. The energy of the Queen of Cups is like, the energy of like a, 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 a feminine energy that is very, very nurturing, also psychic as well, very tapped in within herself, very loving, giving, all right? This is like a soft feminine energy that is very much also sensitive, all right? So these masculine energies here, they see you as this way like you are very nurturing you're very loving you're very caring all right you look like somebody that they wouldn't mind dealing with for the long run all right they don't want to just deal with you for now that's why they make such an effort to even go behind the scenes to find out information about you okay So, yeah, look at that. The Knight of Cups. This is like roses, dates. You know, this is like phone calls that last for hours. Video calls that last for hours. Constant messages going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? This is like car rides. You know, dinner, lunch, breakfast. This is like all types of things that have to do with the, the dating scene. You know, the dating energy here is the Knight of Cups. So, it coming out here on top of the Queen of Cups is just like, yo, you're going to experience a lot of this. It's like you are allowed, God is saying you are allowed to embrace dating. You don't have to choose quickly who you want or choose one person that you just want to be with without allowing yourself to experience, you know, who these men are in their energy and sort of allowing yourself to get to know each and every one of them individually. Make, make, you know, sort of like give yourself a chance to, to get to know them and also how you feel about them. Will, you will be able to tell once you experience these men here, once you get to experience the Knight of Cups energy with them, which we've established, you know, it's the dates, it's the dinners, it's the breakfast, it's the lunch, it's the roses, it's the love messages going back and forth hours on the phone you know it's like all of the the, the ooey gooey things allow yourself to go through that and experience it you don't have to finalize a decision or abruptly just choose something just go through it experience it and live it all right until you have been okay enough within yourself or you you found clarity enough within yourself to say you know what i'm going with this person or i'm deciding to do this about this person you know what i mean We have the six of swords, yeah. Like, it's again the same energy of like, you don't need to move with haste. You know, as soon as you, you get somebody that, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, as soon as you have one of these men in the energy of like, wanting to take you out and experience you, spoil you, take care of you, you know, you need to experience that man first as a person, as in their energy, before you can make a decision. Don't just make it based on however way they, they treat you in, in the moment. You know, go on and on and experience them until you are okay and you've made final, a final decision or you have clarity about who you want or what you want out of the situation, all right? You know, I'm getting a lot of going out. A lot of a lot of things are going to be happening here, beloved. These are these are men that like, you know what I'm saying? They got it going on also. You know, they got it going on. Look at that, y'all. The King of Cups, and look at what we got on the table, the Queen of Cups. All of these men see you as somebody they want to be with and match with. It's not like they dating you because they, they want to date you because they see potential. It's like they want to date you because they see something that they've 
always wanted. They see some like wish fulfillment is something that you've always wanted, a desire, a, 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 a relationship that has a certain experience that you've always wanted to have for yourself. So these are men that are going to be with the King of Cups, very possessive over you, jealous, you know what I'm saying, hung up, stuck on you. It's all going to be a part of your experience here. Because these are men that are very serious about you. Because why? They see you all as wish fulfillment. And when they see you as wish fulfillment, they're going to do whatever it takes to keep you in their reality. They're going to do whatever it takes to have you in their reality. All right? So this is crazy. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups on the table. It's crazy. It just shows that, you know what I'm saying? This is genuine also. These are genuine men. They have, they have genuine feelings and emotions about you. That's why they're willing to act right with this nine of wands reversed, dropping all of that, dodging all of that, quitting all of that, just so that you can be happy and content enough to allow them in your energy the way they really want to experience you. All right, so you're a really lucky girl. All right, you're a really lucky woman here. These are serious um, proposals here. These are serious people that you can really build with if you choose. But you have multiple options. You have multiple choices, all right? All right, and it's all going to happen so fast also. Like with this eight of wands, all of a sudden you receive all this, all types of communication. All of a sudden you are pursued, you are, you are being courted. You, you know, all of a sudden you're going out, you are talking to this person, you're calling that person. You know what I'm saying? It's like all of a sudden it's going to be like abrupt abrupt communication coming through and you're going to be experiencing a lot a lot a lot of energies that have to do with you know relationship here you're going to feel the love you're going to feel the attraction you're going to feel that damn this person really on my energy like they really really it's like you're going to see it in these men, men's eyes like there's something with regards to their eyes all right you're going to see it in their eyes like damn you you really gone you know what i'm saying you gone because you so you seem so in love all of a sudden or you seem so in love like literally as i'm looking at you look at all these roses or look at this or look at that you know what i mean also i'm getting that this is what you've manifested for yourself as well this is what's coming into your world and your reality so that means you've called it in you've manifested it and i feel like the way in which you did that is you put in the work within yourself all right you put in the work within yourself and you allowed yourself to sort of go through life in a way of like you're not going to hold on to the past situations or you're not going to hold on to comic cycles and things like that that's why you are able to attract different that's why you'll be able to do different all right because these are all new people here these are all new people they're new people. So these new people here, they know what they want from you. And they're just hoping that you're going to allow them. This is like new experience, new reality type of energy. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Are you kidding? This is like being kissed on, being loved on, being given this, being given that, being taken there, being taken there. It's like... All types of experiences are linked to the Ace of Cups. These men's heart is like open to you. Like the heart chakra is open to you with this Ace of Cups here. They're willing to be vulnerable. They're willing to be open. They're willing to give it a try in a way of like they want success from this. All right. They really want this to be something that turns out beautifully. They want a solid relationship. All right. You just have a decision to make. Are you going to be with that person? Or are you going to be with that person? And you can take your time with it because they're not going to rush you, but they're not going to let up on you either. By letting up on you, it means like they're not going to just sit back and be like, okay, I'm gonna give you space, I'm gonna give you time. They're gonna be on you. Like, let's go do this. You know what I'm saying? Can we get on the call? Or do you wanna take a walk? Let me come to your, you know, things like that where it's like, they just want to experience you. And they want to do it with the way, with the mindset of wanting to be in a relationship with you. All right. So a lot of new energies coming your way, beloved. 
a lot of new energies here that are going to create new experiences for you. You get to pick and choose who you want to be with here. You get to pick and choose who you want to connect to. All right. So as much as you've manifested this and you've called this into your life, you've called this into your life and you've manifested it because you stood in your power. You knew your worth and you waited until, you know, you had people that were genuinely trying to be with you. And this is what's happening. That's why it's going to happen so sudden. Like, you know, what you've manifested, what you've called in within your life is going to come rushing here. Like adrenaline type of rush. All right. Mm, this is beautiful energy. All right, beloved. So congratulations to you. Have fun. Enjoy your life. All right. Go out. Do that. You know. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message, all right? This is your message, sorry. I almost repeated what I said. So to those who are keen or interested in being members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon down in my description box. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I'm grateful to you all and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.